All right, so with this first little clip, I just cut to the end so we can show completion. Uh, and when we go up this final ladder and you hit the hit box at the top, we get a clear screen and a nice little text on there. Can't read it, that's all right. Now the second part here, we're gonna be showcasing death mechanics. The reason we have a pause at the start is because the barrels are randomly generated. This depends on when the player first touches a button to actually start Mario's movement. You can see here, actually we got three barrels right in a row. So, unlucky you might say, lucky you might say. We have six barrels in total that we can have and screen at one time. Once a barrel gets to the end, it actually respawns back at the top to re-save on values and resources, really. Now, when we hit a box, we're going to lose a life. Our lives are tracked by the top three little dashes on the top right. When you lose one, gonna lose a dash pretty simple right the way that Mario moves and the way that the boxes are moved is actually with gravity independent on where they are on the lines the lines themselves are actually very large arrays of hit boxes that Mario can walk on he moves very slightly up every time he goes to the right on like an upward right slanting slope and when he goes to the left he just moves to the left and gravity actually carries him down this way, he can actually move off to the left as well. When we end, we're just going to see a little completion screen here. It just says, hey, good job. Thanks for playing. All right. Thanks for watching.